Okay, happy Sunday morning, you guys. It's 7.30 a.m. and I'm hoping today will be a caffeinated tea because I need it. We are on day six today already, which is right here. Today's tea does not look like a caffeinated tea, but it is gingerbread blondie. So let me read up on this and see if this is the caffeine jolt I need. I'm thinking not. So we might have to do some English breakfast or something. All right, you guys, so my water is coming up to a boil and I actually decided I'm going to do a matcha this morning. So this is David's Tea's Grand Cru Matcha. It is not sweetened or flavored at all. It's just sort of like a mid-grade matcha. I've been drinking this some mornings. Um, matcha is an acquired taste for sure. Um, I bought a few of their like flavored drink mix matcha things and I haven't delved into those because I know that once I try that, um, you know, it's sweetened, it's flavored. I'm really not going to want to drink this. And this is where I'm going to get all my benefits. So I'm trying to work my way through this. I do like it. I don't love it. But it's amazingly good for you. And it's got energy and vitamins and stuff. So, so many health benefits. So I'm going to have a cup of matcha this morning. All right, it's gonna be really, really difficult to do this one hand, but I'm gonna to try to show you. So I'm just gonna add a splash of hot water. This is not like boiling hot. I brought it up to a boil, but then I let it um, cool down. So I'm just gonna add a splash of water there and I'm gonna start whisking. So the key to matcha is to whisk it really well, get out all the clumps and build up some nice foam. And I'm not touching the bottom of my matcha bowl here. I'm not a matcha expert by any stretch of the imagination. I just got started with matcha. Um, but I enjoy the process of like whisking it and making a foam. It's just sort of nice. So I'm going to continue to whisk this and build up a foam, add a little bit more water, and then once it's incorporated to my liking, I will pour it into my little rustic cup from David's Tea. It's an 8 ounce cup. If you're not familiar with matcha, like I said, it's definitely an acquired taste. It's very vegetal, so think like seaweed, kale, that sort of thing. That's kind of what it, the flavor reminds me of. But it is chock full of good for you stuff. So I'm going to keep whisking this and then I'm going to get it in my cup and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright you guys, there is my matcha. I'm going to go enjoy this. Relax a little bit, maybe catch up on some YouTube. It's all I ever watch, I swear. And then once I get this all down, I will reward myself with a cup of English breakfast, I think. Or maybe a Lady Grey. All right, you guys, so there is my matcha latte. I just added a little bit of milk to make it a little more um, enjoyable. <laughs> like I said, it's definitely an acquired taste. But, cheers. All right, you guys, so since I finished my matcha, I'm gonna treat myself with something I like a little bit better. I just have to decide. So I'm here in my little tea cabinet. I've got some of the Tivana um, sachets. I've got Jade Citrus Mint, Peach Tranquility, Youth Berry, which is my favorite. I've got some of the Twinings tea here, loose leaf. I also have some tea bags up here and some cappuccino. Um, or I could have a cup of coffee. What do I want? Maybe I'll just do 
a black tea. So I have these Twinings tea bags. I have a couple of other tea bags stuffed in here too. Um, some from Tazo. The vanilla bean macaron, which is so good. Uh, what is this? The glazed lemon loaf. I know you guys can't really see. It's uh, still pretty early. The sun hasn't come up entirely yet, so it's all shadowy. Then I have an Irish breakfast, Earl Grey, English breakfast. Looks like I'm all out. Oh, I have one Lady Grey left, so maybe that's what I'll have, because Lady Grey is my favorite Twinings tea. Earl Grey. I'll, I'll do an Earl Grey this morning, so... This is what I'm gonna have, a little eight ounce Earl Grey to treat myself after stomaching that matcha. Like I said, you guys, and it's an acquired taste. I like it, I don't love it. This I love, so we'll have this. I do have the Earl Grey loose leaf tea, by the way. Loose leaf is my favorite, I love it. Sometimes it's just easier to do a tea bag. So this is what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna clean up my mess. And think about making some breakfast. Everybody else in the house, by the way, is still asleep with the exception of Eric, who is out in the woods hunting. He left this morning at 6 a.m. So he got an earlier start than me. I need to go and edit. Then I'm going to make some breakfast. And I'll share that with you guys once I get around to it. All right, breakfast this morning. We're going super simple. We're going to do some of the Quaker lower sugar maple and brown sugar oatmeal i always do two packets so i'm gonna get this going in the microwave it's gonna take all of about two minutes but i'll show you when it's done riveting content today sorry you guys are you tired of hearing about tea and what i'm eating because i feel like that's all i've shown you the last five days all right you guys well i could have made this look prettier but let's be real it's oatmeal and it's gonna look gross regardless so um, the way that I do my oatmeal is I make it with water, and I actually like it really thick, so I just nuke it for like a minute and a half until all the water is absorbed, and then I just pour a little bit of milk over the top, and I'm just serving it with a sliced up apple. So that is my breakfast. I might add a little bit of cinnamon to the top just for funsies. I'm going to go eat this with my tea which has now cooled down so that I can drink it and that is my morning breakfast oh my gosh you guys so my husband came home from hunting this morning and he and I sat down and we're chit-chatting a little bit we both fell asleep on the couch he at some point must have woken up and gone back out hunting he goes hunting early morning, like 6 a.m., and then he's home, like, mid-afternoon, and then he goes back out for late afternoon into the evening. He left me asleep. It's like 3.30. I just woke up. I've lost half my day, so I need to make up for it. I need to do laundry. I'm behind on my laundry, so I'm going to put a load of my clothes in. Um, oh, I, I feel so... Like groggy and disconnected, you guys ever do that? Take a nap and wake up and you feel like you're like in the twilight zone. So I need to quickly um, get some laundry going. I got a load of my clothes to do. I'm pretty good about staying on top of uh, my kids' clothes and my husband's clothes, but my clothes are always like last on the priority list, luckily. My washing machine is pretty darn big, so I'm going to just throw in a load of my clothes and figure out what I'm doing with the rest of my day because I've lost half of it now. It's like 3.30. fabric softener. This is my favorite, favorite fabric softener. It's the Downy Infusions, the Bliss one. I was using the Calm scent. This one is way better. It smells so good. 
My load and go system is already set up, so I don't need to add detergent. So, yeah. that's it. I'm still loving my new machines, by the way. I need to clean them. They're a little fingerprinty, but. All right, laundry's going. Now let's figure out what else I'm doing with the rest of my day. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and brewed up that gingerbread blondie tea. Um, it's not really a tea, it's an herbal blend, so it's like a fruit infusion is what David's Tea calls it. And this is the first one that I have tried from this advent calendar that I just absolutely don't like. This is like gag worthy. I did not like it at all. Luckily I only made 8 ounces because I'm dumping this down the drain. I hate to waste it. I tried really hard to go ahead and drink it anyway, but it's awful. So. I don't know. I did not like it. That's what the um, used up tea looks like. I thought I would tell you guys what's in this and try to figure out at the same time what it is that I don't like. Because usually I like ginger tea. But this one is apple, ginger, pineapple, mango, candied ginger, sugar sprinkles, white stars, um, sugar, sugar sprinkles, gingerbread man, um, 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 artificial flavoring, marigold flowers, natural flavoring with stevia extract, and vanilla. So I don't know. I don't know if it's the... It's just too strong of a ginger flavor. I did steep it for a really long time. Maybe if I had steeped it for less time, it wouldn't be as strong. Um, be more like watered down, and then I would like it more, but this is no good. So... I'm going to offer it to my kids and see if they will drink it, but I don't think they're going to drink it either. I'm pretty sure this is going to go down the drain. So, that stinks, but, you know, we're six days in, right? And that's the first one I haven't liked at all. Everything else has been drinkable. My husband was laughing at me because I was like, I don't think I'm going to like this. And then I took a sip and I said, nope, don't like it, but I'm going to drink it anyway. And a couple sips later, I'm tapping out. Can't do it. No good. I am watching Chrissy over at the Mom Life, her live, and she's having wine, so I'm going to have wine. This is my favorite St. Julian's Head Games. I don't have wine glasses because they're all broken, but we're going to have a little vino. This is um, a spiced red wine, and it's from my favorite winery, and it's so good. All right, you guys, here's a look at dinner. Super easy peasy. I got some tots with some ketchup. This is a chicken sandwich. It's just the great value frozen chicken patties. Robbie made dinner tonight, so that was nice um, while I was chatting with my girls. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat, and then I'm going to log off for the day for now. Good night. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.